I'm Jenny Woodward from ABC Television here in Queensland and I've been the weather presenter here for more than 20 years so as you can imagine I've reported on a lot of floods over that time. Last year, at the beginning of last year, I went out to Longreach and that was for Australia Day and it was around that time they had those big floods out at Emerald and that was the time when one of the big coal um, pits filled with water and it took them a very long time to drain it. Perhaps they're still trying to do that, I'm not sure. And um, flying over there, you could see there was water just as far as the eye could see. It was really hot and steamy in Longreach, and we had a great time there, but lots and lots of mosquitoes, as you would imagine, with all that water lying around. Somebody, um, one of the locals, had one of those fan boats that you see in the Everglades in the States, and they were trying it out. So we had a trip on one of them and went right over all of this flooded area. We went over the railway lines, we went over fences, um, we even went over a weir where you could just feel this little dip in the water. So it was a, an amazing expanse of water. And even though I know there'd been a lot of damage, they, they really did need that water as well. And, and it was quite beautiful too. It was, it was a really wonderful experience. There's no doubt that a lot of the flooding that happens in Queensland is due to cyclones coming across the coast and then turning into a rain depression and bringing buckets of water and you get those big streams of water coming over the tropical coast and amazing quantities of rain. You might get half a metre in a night. But curiously, the um, highest rainfall in the state ever was uh, down in southeast Queensland and it was at a place called Crowhamhurst, which is just west of Caloundra. That happened on the 3rd of um, February in 1893 and they had a whopping 907 millimetres at that time which is just an incredible amount of water and then back in August in 2007 Coops Corner which is not too far from there had 772 millimetres. It's really hard to imagine that sort of rain but sometimes I think if you just measure it against your body coming up to almost 70 centimetres or nearly a metre. That's an extraordinary amount of rain for a place to have in, in a 24 hour block. So it's no wonder we have those amazing floods. It seems to not matter whereabouts in the state, it can happen from right up in the tropics to right out in the southwest corner. If you, if you live in Brisbane or you're a Brisbaneite, it seems to me that the flood that everybody talks about is the 1974 flood. And although I didn't live here at the time, I've seen so much footage of it, I, I feel like I did. It was quite an extraordinary series of events that caused that flood. Tropical cyclone Wanda came through and um, it was the cyclone that actually dumped all the rain but in fact there had already been three cyclones uh, in that summer and so um, there was an enormous amount of water around at the time. Tropical cyclone Pam came down across the coast just a, a few days later on the 6th of February and that caused those huge tidal surges on the Gold Coast where you see all the, the sands being scoured away and Zoe then crossed the coast in Coolangatta just a week after that. So of course there was extensive flooding right across Brisbane, but of course there were widespread floods all through northern New South Wales at the same time. Floods are a mixed blessing. Inevitably there are lives lost and properties lost and stock and wildlife suffer and there's all sorts of topsoil is washed away and fences destroyed but um, of course we need the floods to fill up the dams and the lakes and of course go into the underground water uh, reserves. Uh, certainly in the time that I've been doing the weather in Queensland I've seen that ebb and flow of water across the state many many times and even though we're heading into a really dry summer I'm sure that there'll be lots more floods uh, to report on in years to come. And uh, so that seems to be the weather in Queensland, one extreme to the other, and it's been a big part of my life.